one flop for the price of two. Hello everyone. I hope everyone's enjoying their Friday morning, evening, afternoon, or into Saturday. Uh, real quick though first, I want to um, say I, I'm seeing a, uh, getting a lot of comments on YouTube and I'm getting a lot of emails about a lot of uh, various things and um, I'm trying to go through those so I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just trying to work through those. And then I also want to say that uh, I have, and we have, because we all share the same viewers and everything, the greatest, most hysterical audience group, whatever you want to say, in the entire world. I read everybody's comments, and, like, the funniest people on earth, seriously. I mean, like, I laugh, and, and sometimes, you know, and sometimes if I don't, I don't answer, you know, all comments, it's because I don't want to seem like I'm picking and choosing and everything, so, but I do see a lot of them, and you guys are just hysterical, so I wanted to say thank you, and uh, let you know how appreciated you are, and how funny I think that you are. So, back to the one flop for the price of two. Now, I don't know if anyone has noticed this before, I thought of it last night, so if somebody has noticed this before, uh, I apologize if I'm, you know, bringing it up or whatever, but I thought of it. So, one flop for the price of two, well, what is that price? The price is roughly around, allegedly, because, you know, can't trust anything these people say, but the price is around $135 million. And that is the combined cost of... Uh, combined contract amount of the Netflix and Spotify deals. So, so we have her, <laughs> so we have her Pearl Netflix show. I think, I don't know if it's going to be a cartoon or, or what it's going to be, but so that's about a, a little girl, right? And she's supposed to like go through history or traveled through time or something like that and talk to all of these historical women about you know what made them the way they are and how it how it shaped um you know women throughout history you know like I think everybody's heard it like she goes through time and talks to women and just to see the journey that women have been on and how and where we are today Okay, so great. So that's her Netflix show. Her Spotify podcast is Archetypes, which she talks to women about these different archetypes, labels that women have had throughout history. And she said that she's going to go talk to, talk to, uh, talk to different historians, you know, maybe college professors or whatever about things that women have gone through throughout history to get where we are, to see where we are today. So they're the same thing. They're the same exact thing, which demon that which there's a lot that could possibly go be going on here. But to me it just shows the lack of talent the lack of insight, the lack of imagination. So Netflix and Spotify, one of, well, okay, both of them are probably going to fail. Well, maybe, you know, maybe there are people that are interested in all that. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. As a woman, I think, I mean, I don't know. I don't care about that. I, that's something, whether it's Meghan Markle doing a show like that or not, I wouldn't listen to it no matter who was doing it. I don't, that's, that stuff, I, I don't care about that stuff. So, that being said, um, so essentially, one, so I think they'll both flop, but one of them is going to flop. One of them won't get ratings because they're the same thing. They're going to, those, her podcast, whether, when, whenever these two come out, if they come out at the same time, or whichever one, whichever one comes first is going to be the most successful one. Uh, if they come out together, they'll, they'll just tank each other. They're going to cannibalize each other, her podcast 
her Spotify podcast and the Netflix series. It's like putting a McDonald's across the street from another McDonald's. So is it, there's a lack of talent, lack of interest, or lack of insight, lack of imagination, pure laziness, just lazy. And uh, these companies, I mean, I don't know, I'd look in those contracts to see, I mean, they are literally going to be competing with one another, which I'm sure that these Netflix and Spotify aren't going to like that too much. You know, in contracts, I mean, there's there's going to be like exclusivity clauses. You know, while they are different types of, you know, Netflix does what they do. They're a video thing and, you know, videos. And then podcasts is radio. They're the same. I, get, I think you get what I'm saying. So they're ripping these people off. They're doing... They're just they're just doing internet searches, basically, but whatever. There has to be cartoonists. But as far as the work goes in, there's not going to be a lot of work going in for, for these two things. Um, they're, they're getting ripped off. Forget, forget if there were two, you know, two shows that just there wasn't a lot of effort put into them. It's one flop for the price of two, which is $135 million. And then you go on to Prick Harry's uh, Netflix documentary about Invictus. Well, there's interest in veterans. Uh, there should be. You know, I'm not knocking the Invict- Invictus games. That's great. Um, even though he, he, uh, he even said he stole the idea from the Wounded Warrior, the American Wounded Warrior Project. But anyway, um, so there is interest in veterans, but they didn't come up with that idea either. They're just document. I mean, that's an easy win for them. So it's the work was already done. You know, it was Prince Harry's idea to steal the idea from the Wounded Warrior Project, but Prince Harry didn't get up, every, you know, every day and put the hard work in to put that those things together. I mean, good for him that he started. It. Good for him, but um. But it's literally, there's no imagination there either. The cameras just show up. So, Netflix, as far as Netflix goes, they're paying for, like, nothing. (laughs) I mean, it's like, there's no originality, there's no thought, there's no work that's been put into it. Spotify's probably, which one's going to get, well, I don't know which one's going to get ripped up. It's just, they're... And Meghan Markle's team is smart enough to know what they're doing. They're probably like, oh, shit, you know, because they don't have ideas. It's lazy. They, they, It's lazy. And cannibalizing it itself. So one of them's going to suffer really bad. Um, it'll, it'll be, if they come out at the same time, I know I'm repeating, I'm just thinking out loud. Whichever one comes first will do the best, and the other one will, will just tank. If they come out at the same time, they'll both tank. So, there you have it. Um, Prince Harry has put in no work, to, But, you know, what a nice gig. You know, is these people are the dumbest yet smartest people in the entire world. I mean, it's like there's an old saying, work smarter, not harder. Well, they don't, you know, they are working smarter, sort of. (laughs) They definitely don't work hard. So again, uh, I thank you for your emails. I'm going through them. Um, Your comments, you guys are great. I've been meaning to say thank you for a while. You guys make me laugh so hard. You're so funny. We have the greatest people in the whole world. And um, yeah, these these places are getting ripped off. So looking forward to your comments. Uh, if I were Netflix and Spotify, I'd go back and start going through those contracts. There has to be some sort of exclusivity clause in there, or you can't do competing things, even though they're two different types types of of things. Like one's a podcast, like I said, one's a podcast and one's a show. Um, 
it's the same thing with the same person. It's one of them's going to suffer. So I know I know contracts, and there's got to be some sort of language in there. And while it looks like one's a cartoon and you know fiction, she's still going to be going over non-fiction things within her fiction show, and she's going to be doing talking about it on a podcast. So this one will be funny to watch. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks.